guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Victoria. I'm so glad that you are here. Today's video is going to be another grocery haul, woohoo! Today I went to Walmart and I spent around $77 exactly. I'm pretty sure I remember it was $77. I actually filmed this video a few days ago and I'm filming the intro today on a different day and, and the outro. So yeah, but I remember I spent $77 and I did Walmart pickup. Um, I had a really good experience this time. I remember last time kind of was not a great experience because I was sick and they messed up a bunch of different things and then I had to wait a long time, which I know is totally first world problems. I'm really lucky that I have this service service available to me. But anyways, yeah, so um, I love Walmart grocery pickup. I love shopping at Walmart. It's my grocery store of choice here in Florida because all the other grocery stores um, seem to be too expensive to me, at least in my opinion. And I go to the commissary sometimes, but I prefer to go to Walmart. So if you want to see what I got at the grocery store, oh, also I'm going to pop up my meal plan right here. I did that in my last video and you guys seem to like that. So I'm going to continue to do that every grocery haul post a meal plan. So you can go ahead and screenshot that if you want. And, um, yeah, if you want to see any recipe videos on any of these, then let me know. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into the haul. This is the overview of everything I got for $77. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start over here. I got this huge thing of blueberries. This was on sale for $4 at Walmart this week and I guess I didn't realize it was gonna be that big, but we're gonna be doing a lot of things with blueberries this week, I guess. Send me some blueberry recipes down below, your favorite way to use those. I got two lemons. I'm gonna be using this for that shrimp pasta thing and then also for like lemon water and I also like this to use for my d disposal in my sink to clean it. I got two ears of corn. We're gonna grill some corn on the cob tonight on the grill. And then I got a cucumber for just like salads and whatever. I got two bananas. I only bought two because every time I buy them, it seems like they all go bad. So I only got two this time. And then I got a bag of this butter lettuce salad for just salads for me. I also got some of these orange rolls. These are so good. And some of these great value hard boiled eggs. I like to buy these for Devin for his lunches. And then coming over here, oh, I got this big sweet potato. Guys, look how big this is. This is gigantic. We're also going to cut those up and grill those tonight on the grill. And then I got two peaches and one apple. This bacon I bought is just the naturally hickory smoked bacon, just the Walmart brand. And then I got a pound of strawberries, which this is like super full, which is really nice. Usually they don't fill it up this much. I bet this is more than a pound, but I got a pound of strawberries. They were on sale for $1.77. And then I got three bags of broccoli florets. You guys know this is like our favorite um, vegetable to have with like dinners and lunches and stuff. So I always get the broccoli florets in the steamable bags. And then I got this half gallon of unsweetened almond milk, the vanilla. I usually get the original unsweetened, but they didn't have it this week. They only had unsweetened vanilla, so that's what I got there. And then I got this um, turkey bake, or not turkey bacon, but turkey sausage. I was really interested with these. I'm so excited to try these out. If you guys like to use garlic to cook, I think you guys might find these interesting, but these are just crushed garlic cubes, and one cube equals one clove. I think these were under $2, but it comes with all of these in the back, and you just freeze them, and then you pop them out when you want to use them, so you don't have to like crush fresh garlic or use like the canned minced garlic, which I don't like using. So I thought those would be nice to try, and I'm going to use that for that shrimp pasta dish. And then I got two of these urban garlic tuna packets for Devin. And then I don't know if you guys remember if you watched my live video, I think it was, I talked about giving Sherman peanut butter and I have to be careful with some of the peanut butters have um, artificial sweeteners that are really harmful to dogs. So I got this peanut butter this time. It's Crazy Richard's brand and it's 100% peanuts. And if you look on the back, the only ingredient is peanuts. So I really like that about this peanut butter. I also got Devin some of this pepper jack sliced cheese. This is his favorite cheese and I put this on wraps for him. And then I got these this time. They're a little bit different. These are the Kind Mini Bars. They're only 90 calories and only have three grams of sugar, but it's like little mini bars. And these are the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt and then caramel almond and sea salt. So I'm going to be trying those out and those were on sale this week. I also tried this new bread. I've never had this before, but I was doing some searching on YouTube for like healthier um, alternatives for certain things at the store and for bread a lot of people said that this was a really good brand this is dave's killer bread this is the 21 whole grains and seeds never tried this bread before but it's kind of expensive but we don't go through bread very often so i decided to get this kind this time we got the nutrigrain blueberry waffles is what we ordered from pickup but this was a substitution we only had two substitutions this week which was really nice um but 
they gave us the whole grain this time and it was the huge box which is really nice because it lasts us a long time and now Devin only eats these because they do have dairy in them so I buy these for myself these are dairy and egg free the Vans gluten free waffles um, so I got those for myself and then those are for Devin but it's really nice because we got like the big box and then down here I'll show you guys really quick I got just a package of this um, great value everyday strong paper towels for three of them it was only like a dollar eighty something and we don't go through paper towels a whole lot I just use them in the kitchen sometimes um, so I got those and then we needed toilet paper so this was the cheapest brand this week like the one that was most on sale for like 12 rolls is usually what I buy at a time 12 rolls so this was like under six dollars I believe so I got that. I also got some cereal and I decided to try this Kashi cereal because again, I was looking up some like healthier alternatives for certain things that we buy at the store. And a dietitian that I watch says that this brand is the best brand ingredient wise for cereal at the store if you're gonna eat cereal. So I got this Honey Almond Flax Crunch Kashi cereal. So we'll have to try that. I'm sure it's really good. And then I need a trash bag. So I got this big box of a 45 bags of the 13 gallon. These are citrus burst scented and they smell really good. We needed eggs and we've been eating a lot of eggs lately. So I got this 18 count egg container. It was like only like $1.07 at Walmart. Really, really cheap. And then I got a bag of these salt and vinegar potato chips. I never buy chips, but I figured this week I would get some, just like have some in the house if we wanted them. These are only like 92 cents. And then you guys know I love these cookies for Sherman. Um, these are the Blue Dog Bakery cookies. I keep them in his jar here in the kitchen and he is like almost completely out. So I got those. And then the last thing I got was a case of Oreos. This is just the family size double stuff. I usually buy these every week. Um, sometimes I don't, but this week I decided to buy them. So that is everything we got today at the store for $77. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I hope you will leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.